This is Roger Hammerstein's Sleeping Beauty. This baby has not been kissed in 50 years. And wouldn't it be nice to treat her properly? I wanted everything to be examined. I wanted every lyric to be earned. And I really wanted this piece to be alive. So what we've got now is a fresh take on this great classic. My heart wants to beat like the wings of the birds that rise from the lake to the trees. For many years I've been running Rodgers and Hammerstein, so I both represent Rodgers and Hammerstein in this, and I'm also now one of the producers of this production. Everybody upped their game because when you have a three-time Tony Award-winning director doing a production like The Sound of Music, everybody in that room is going to do better than they thought they were going to be able to do. The Sound of Music is incredibly iconic, and so we come into it expecting certain things, and sometimes because of that, the story gets lost a little bit. And it's really a beautiful story about overcoming adversity, which is a very human story, a very universal story. Sad. I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. What you're going to experience in this particular production is somebody who is allowing the music and the lyrics to sing but is really allowing the story to deepen. Each generation would like to see theater that belongs to their time and place. To throw away the old and take on the new and say, this is ours now. We're reclaiming this. <laughs>